Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today we're making blackberry zephyr. It's a fluffy marshmallow-like treat that just melts in your mouth. We'll start with the blackberry syrup. In a medium saucepan, combine two cups of fresh blackberries, half a cup of sugar, and a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Place it over medium heat, mash up the berries, and bring to a simmer. Now continue simmering for 10 minutes, then strain through a fine sieve, pressing on the solids until you get about half a cup of puree. Place the mixture over an ice bath until it's cooled. Once your syrup is fully chilled and slightly thickened, combine it with one egg white in the bowl of a mixer and beat on high speed with the whisk attachment for five to 10 minutes or until thick and stiff peaks form. At the same time, while the mixer is going, in a medium saucepan, combine one third cup water, two teaspoons agar agar, and one cup of sugar. Place that over medium heat, bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat to a low boil and cook another five minutes, whisking constantly until you have a thickened syrup that pours from the spoon without dribbling. It's been about 10 minutes and my blackberry mixture is so fluffy. Reduce the mixer till the lowest speed and in a steady, slow stream, add the hot syrup. Being careful not to get it on the whisk or the bowl. Once the syrup is in, scrape down the bowl and beat another two to three minutes. You'll need a pastry bag fitted with a large open star tip and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. This mixture is easiest to pipe while it's still warm, so right away transfer it to your prepared pastry bag. Pipe generous tall roses about two inches wide. One recipe will yield about 20 beautiful little puffs. And don't forget the taste test and you'll get excited at this point because it tastes so good. Let these rest for six to 12 hours or overnight. The marshmallows will form a glossy film on top so it shouldn't stick to your hands and it'll come off the parchment fairly easily. Sandwich two halves together, then roll them generously in powdered sugar, tapping off the excess. Once the powdered sugar is on, that's all there is to it. These are really pretty simple to make. And time for the taste test, the best part of the show. <laughs> I really want you guys to see what's inside of these though. Take a peek. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. These are so fluffy and cloud-like. They literally melt in your mouth and they have intense blackberry and lemon flavor. They're so delicious. And I don't even know what to, how to classify them. I mean, it's a dessert, but it's not a candy and it's not really a cookie. <laughs> These are dangerous little things, I'll tell you that. <laughs> So tempting, and they're perfect for parties. These always disappear fast. If you enjoyed this recipe, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for joining me in my kitchen. I wish I could pass one to you through the screen. I really do. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, make sure you check out some of our most popular party desserts right over here.